RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. I mean, 23 Emmy nominations. You've won nine. First time ever, I said this before, mm. you know, host and reality show. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think, I know what I think, mm. but I want to know, it's your show, mm. why you think the show has become such a cultural force. Uh, well, you know what I loved about the show Downton Abbey was that it sort of chronicled the change from the 19th century into the 20th century. Mm -hmm. and I think we're still in the midst of that transformation, that metamorphosis right now, where we're going from the 20th century concepts and ideas into the 21st century. And I think our show, Drag Race, has helped usher in uh, a new voice and a, 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 a voice and a behavior and a language and a aesthetic for uh, the 21st century human on this planet. Uh -huh. I think young people intuitively, instinctively uh, gravitate to our show because it is the voice of the 21st century and recreating a, a life for yourself. You know, when I talked about Interview Magazine uh, just a minute ago and going to the drugstore to, to read it so I could read about the Warhol superstars, those are people uh, in those Warhol superstars who ch moved to New York, changed their name, dyed their hair, and and created a life for themselves. Now I'm Viva, or now I'm Candy Darling, mm -hmm. you know? and. That's what our show is. Drag queens are shapeshifters who decide, you know what, uh, I'm going to create my own reality. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it connects with uh, young people and people around the world. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.